Troubleshooting Views Components and Data Binding, the View Model, Section 3. Declaring too many global components. In this section, we'll focus our attention on the View Model, which involves components and data binding. When creating components, the last thing you want to worry about is having two or more components competing for a slot and another component. Uh, usually this won't happen if you named your components with unique names, and you should. However, in a large application, there is a very good chance that you might have the same name because you run out of names. And this is what happens when you have too many global components with the same name competing for the same slot. So let's see an example and how you can avoid this issue. Back here in the code, I am going to run this application and see what it has to offer. Okay. Um, so here is the view for the application. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this template down here. We were testing this in an earlier video. So let's go remove that. That is inside the app component, I think. And it, it's this tag right here. It says my component. Okay, I'm going to remove that for now and save that. So to illustrate this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and create a folder in here and add another component in there. So I'm going to say this one here could be a user's folder, for example. And just create a very simple file in here we call another about file, for example. So we have two about components, one in the global here in the components folder, one inside the user. So here is going to be a very simple template. I have a script down here and we'll have a very simple style just to make it like a different color and we'll scope this so we'll make that scope I'll use an h1 just an h1 to make this a color uh, we'll choose green it's a very really nice color up here we'll put a div here and then just close that div I'll use the h1 here I'm just, just gonna say something like this is this page is about and then I'll put in here a variable maybe I'll use like users dot uh, name okay and then we just close the h1 make it very simple okay so in the script I'm going to do the usual export default and then the name will be just about okay and we have What do I have? I have the data. Okay. And this is going to be a function. Return a collection of objects and properties. And this is going to be your users. An object of name with my name on it. And maybe another one, just an email. Again, very simple. At uh, mycompany.com. Okay. So there is my component is uh, completed let's see what else and then I need to save that and let's just say that I'm going to put it into the app folder over here okay so let's see did I put something right I feel like I'm not doing something correctly here let's see about page I'm not duplicating this right okay so that's fine uh, doesn't look right. There's something incorrect here. Export default name. Maybe, there's, maybe just the space, I guess. All right. So back here, I'm going to um, import the component. You still have to import it, okay, to use it, right? So this is the about coming from the users folder and not not in the current components folder. So it'll still be going to coming from the components and users about okay so i'm going to replace what i had earlier here and just put the about tag here All right so when you do that make sure you also register here otherwise it won't work okay save this back in the view and there you see that the component has been rendered and shown here at the bottom as expected it should be visible on every page because that app page is like the global module right Okay, so that is just a typical thing we have done. Now, if I go back in here, and I'm going to make this component global. This is now local component. So you make global by just adding this view dot component. 
and in here I've put the about the name of that um, component and then you just wrap this whole thing in there and now it's global okay what does it do well here's what it does now I, I still have to export this when I export it it's gonna go into the app here because I import it here notice I don't have to put that anymore right I can take that out completely as you can see if I save that and my page should not break if it does I probably did something wrong with it um, let's see so let's go back and see what happened I forgot to import the view mainly because I did not um, I'm using the view object so I usually want to import that in first from view okay so don't forget that save that again hopefully it comes right back okay so as you can see it works fine uh, if you press the F12 key you can inspect the console there's no error I suppose right nothing there okay so that means this is now global. Once you import it this way into any of these files, it doesn't matter where you put it. It's visible everywhere. Okay. Just to prove to you that it's true, I'm going to go ahead and remove this completely from the app file. So the it, it's it's gone. Okay. Then let's just say that I'm going to go into the login page, and I'm just going to import it. I don't have to import it basically. I'm just going to add it to the form here. Uh, well, let me put a div in here because I need to wrap this whole form with a div. I need a um, single root. So I put the about tab right here at the bottom of that form. Okay. There's no import as you can see. If I save that, if I go back here, nothing in the about, nothing in those places. If I go to the login page, you see that it's right in here. Okay, so it works everywhere as long as you do import in any of your view files. Now let's do another issue, uh, another thing here. I'm going to go to this about page, okay, uh, a console component. And instead of just doing this default, I'm going to do another global component. I'll make this global with the same name, about, again. And I'm going to just close that here. I also want to make sure I import the view. So now this is vis it's the global as well. I just need to import it somewhere. I could do that inside what well, I don't want to do here because I already have that. But I'm going to copy this so I don't have to type this again. I'm going to, um, well, actually, you know what? That is already imported inside the index, right? It's already here. See, right? It's already here. So that means I don't have to do anything because that one's already, it's a given. So let's see if I go back here and refresh my page. Okay. Uh, so login, as you can see, it changes. So now it takes that about component instead of my other component. And so now it's competing against with the other one. And that could be an issue. Okay. And again, because I already in included that inside the, uh, the router, it's available everywhere. I could put back in the app here on the front page, put that um, about back here. And now I have that visible everywhere on every page because it's competing for that. So you can see that now I have two of them and they're loaded in the same one. Okay, so they're competing and I don't really know the... Uh, mechanism behind view how they decide that but you can see that if I add another one it's going to keep the same thing until I close one of them then the other one comes right back and so on so to avoid this issue unless you must you should always use local uh, components and by making them local you're basically saying you know don't use this view that component as soon as you do that this component becomes global Okay, and uh, and and in order to use it in other components, of course, you start to in, you export it. But once you import it into any of these uh, files, it doesn't matter which one, then it's available throughout the entire uh, view instance uh, space. So that's really important, and I want to make sure that is uh, taken care of. Again, you don't want to do that because it's waste a lot of you know space and and resources too. So, but the most important thing is this conflict between the same component, and you may want to. And you may be wondering why it's not working the way expected.